Yeah. And we ain't never got to worry. It's all up from here now. Day to day. Let go. Picture every day that you won't find a cane tree. And everywhere lights turn green for you. No matter what they want, girl, it was on you. And every move that you made, it always came through. It ain't no looking for no up and down. It's tell your family that you made it out. And ain't no worries, no, don't ever down. Hello everyone, this is Tania with Talk Time with Miss T, and I just came from New Orleans Daiquiri um, Bar and Kitchen off O National. They also have a location, um, I want to say off Tara Boulevard. So, I got the trio dish, some... Um, char grilled oysters as well as the seafood lobster um rolls so let me just show you what it looks like so we have the um red beans and rice seafood gumbo this is the um seafood etouffee, the seafood rolls, as well as the char-grilled um, oysters, okay? To Heavenly Father, thank you for the food about to receive. For the nourishment of my body, you must be with. I love you, Lord. Thank you for all that you are and all that you do in our lives. Amen. Okay, so I'm just going to go from right to left and see what this is about. Um, this was so that you could taste some of what was going on. So we're going to start off with the red beans and rice. Oh, that's good. It's not spicy, which I can appreciate. Nice and creamy, like it said. Get another scoop of that. That's good. Mmm. Really good. Okay. So next is the gumbo. I'm not sure what all kind of meat is in here. It's not bad. It's not spicy. The sausage tastes like it may be scorched a little bit. I don't know what type of meat this is. I'm trying to look to see, but not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Then we have this etouffee over here. Looks like crawfish, shrimp, rice, onions. Really good. Of the three, this one has more kick than the other two. Still tolerable, which is really good. Okay. Let me see. Here. You can see his stuff with shrimp and cheese. I was trying to decide if I wanted to get the crawf what is it, crawfish um, and shrimp stuffed oysters and um i saw this she was like it has the stuff you know that's on top of those oysters on this so i decided to just get the char grilled 
oysters and get these um, so that I could fill my taste buds. So this right here looks like this may be some sweet and sour sauce. Mm. That's good. I think both of those may be spicy. Maybe that's a sweet chili. Let me try that without the sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. That's a sweet chili. <clears throat> Has a pop. I like the flavor together, but it's too spicy for me. It's pretty good, though. And then, you have these oysters. And this has um, the garlic butter as well as um, Parmesan cheese. Mm. Delicious. As you all know, I'm still learning a lot <coughs> about different foods, but these were good. Pretty good. Everything was really good. So, the rice and beans, I think is my fave. Really creamy, really good. Not too hot, not too cold. It's right there in the middle. The etouffee was good. The oysters were definitely good. I am going to try to do the stuffed ones. But I just could not find myself paying $35 for them and not knowing how I was going to react to it. Because the lady was like, uh-uh, the, um, the ones that I got were better. So I didn't want to waste my money and not like the experience. The rolls were good. I can say that it does taste better with the sauce. But I'm going to have to find a different kind of sauce around here because that one was kind of spicy to me. And then last but not least would be the gumbo. Um, I feel like something was overcooked and then mixed together in here. The overall, you know, this was really good. I would say probably an 8.5. This I'll give... A nine. This I would say is probably a five. Seven and a half. And those oysters are definitely an eight. So go check them out. Um, they also have, it's a daiquiri bar. Um, so they have all kind of drinks. Um, had I known that you could order it out, I would have gotten that as well. Um, but I didn't find out to after the fact. You cannot order out their oysters. Um, they have to bring them to you and you have to box them yourself. Because um, they get in trouble if something happens. Um, so I respect that. But go out and check them out. Um, seems like a nice atmosphere. It looks like they have music going on the inside. So that has been Talk Time with Miss T. Once again, this is New Orleans Daiquiri Bar. Um, go and check them out. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.